Don't tell me that you understand it Don't tell me that I'm too demanding I need you to show me You're taking this too slowly Don't tell me that you're what I need No, I believe that when I see so Time for you to show me Hush your lips, stop your shh Everybody, it's your girl Sunshine, and today is Monday. <laughs> we are currently um, continuing the floor, the open concept kitchen floor project. As you guys can see, I already got my beam installed, and I am currently on some walk boards. This is where we left off on the floor project. We got all of the joists on the kitchen side installed, and we're going to be cross cross up uh, doing cross blocks like how you guys see over there and then we're going to be going into this room we're going to be moving all this stuff which i'm about to start doing uh and we're going to be opening up the floors and going over the work that the other um wannabe carpenters did when we first moved in here so <laughs> And we're also going to be going, hopefully I get a chance to do, go up the walls and everything. But let's just go with the flow and see where we're going. I don't know what time it is, but the carpenter, he should be uh, showing up any moment now. I already got my breakfast, y'all. <sighs> I got through it. I made it through this. This was a nightmare sleeping through this. But luckily, nothing came into my house. Nothing bothered me. But y'all, it's cold outside today and so that's why i got on my little fuzzy ball hat and i'm trying to stay warm and i got my face mask ready so let's get to work you guys and jason's here today so he's already unloaded the uh trailer that i loaded with wood and he's just pretty much cleaning up a lot of the wood around the house so that as we wrap this project up um it won't be a hot mess outside before he takes off. So let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, <laughs> here's an update of what we did today. We did cross bracing on the middle of the floor, um, bridging, I think that's what he calls it. And these boards that you see right now, we didn't get a chance to do the top flooring because we started working on this side of the floor. All of these boards right here are temporary boards. They're not permanent. I just laid them down so that I can get to my door. This is what, so I'm gonna be careful, y'all. Today I almost bust my head on this board right here that's in front of my door. It was laying across one of these beams and I stepped on it and the whole board flipped but I fell down and I caught myself on the joist, thankfully. <laughs> um, I'm a very clumsy person, by the way. This is what we decided to do, y'all. We still have to, as y'all can see, I'm kind of tired. I am tired, not kind of tired, but we have to take those clips. I got a bunch of them tomorrow and we have to clip all these lines up underneath the pex lines up underneath the joist. This is my, where my island is gonna be, where my sink is gonna be. They put the stakes in this because today I decided to spend more money and I got my whole plumbing system. It was galvanized pipe and it kept getting clogged. So I told the guy if it was any way possible, he could completely PVC my whole line from the washer unit. So I have over here, the hot water tank is in there. It's kinda jangly looking, but it's in there. And this is where my washer and dryer line is gonna go. So I had him PVC all the way from there, all the way from crossing where the island is gonna go, all the way to the drainage where you can, the access hole where you can clear the lines because the galvanized lines that I had have been in this house for since the existence. So why not? Now, once I get my new sink, I won't have to worry about any clogged lines. 
They put steaks in it because it has a bit of a bow in it and they wanted to make sure that the glue and everything was drying correctly. So that's gonna be up underneath my counter. And this is called an inline release valve for like this pipe right here was where, you know how the water, it has to have a ventilation system. And this pipe used to be the ventilation, but since I moved my ventilation from the wall to over there, now I had to get that automatic release valve. This wall, as y'all can see, it looks terrible. We took the window out today. So let me step over here. I'm trying to make sure I don't hurt myself. But I put those boards right there because it was a gap. I pretty much boarded the outside up, so it looks terrible. This wall tomorrow, he's taking all of those darker pieces of wood and he's cutting them out. And he's also turning this door. It's going from, I think that's like a 34 size door, inch door. He's going to be turning it into a 36. I'm getting a 36 inch exterior door. So that way, if I have anybody who has like a wheelchair or whatever, or trying to get different furniture, it's gonna be a wider door. So he's gonna frame the wall in to fit a 36, but that's gonna be later. So I've already began to stuff my insulation into the walls. I'm going to just wait until he get the final flooring in tomorrow. That's not how it's going to look with those two boards. He's going to go all the way up with wood on that wall, and he still has to do that one. And I have to take these drywall pieces off and insulate this wall the proper way. So, And that light is coming down. Tomorrow, after tomorrow, all of these floors should be in. I got my hallway completely reinforced and, and braced in, and this is how it's looking. So I'm going to stop here, and I will continue to tomorrow's project youtube oh my gosh the job is finally done i just want to show y'all bam this is what got done y'all look at my kitchen the window is gone y'all so i just want y'all to know let me show y'all this room this is where I'm getting ready to start coming through with the drywall. I had to undo all of that. I got to take that piece out and re-insulate it and just cover it. I'm going to redo that drywall over there. And then I put a bunch of uh I put a bunch of uh lines. It was an outlet switch right there. I decided to I probably already told y'all this. But I decided to, I'm getting my door. I don't have my door yet. I got to go pick it up. So we put the old one, left the old one on there. And we are getting a bigger door. Hold on. What's this? We got to increase that light. Yeah, so we getting a bigger door. We're changing it to a 36. And my refrigerator, I'm going to wall this in. I got me my ice line for my ice machine. They put that through the floor. We've marked it. They already marked off where they're going to do my little circular cabinet around here, the corner. So he gave me a marking for where to put my refrigerator. Even though once I put the floor, floor down and stuff, I'm a pretty much, they going to be able to move it over. And then the reason why I didn't insulate this part is because I have to connect a line from this outlet down to the bottom down there so that I can plug my refrigerator in. So I'm going to do that uh, later, but what I am going to do is start drywalling this ceiling. So the ceiling, y'all, my kitchen, look at my plumbing system. This is where my island is going to be, and this is a, a inline valve so that when gases and stuff come up through the sewer line, it's not going to come up. It's going to go back. It's going to flow it back the other way. So, and you change this every few years or a couple years. And that is my hot and cold line. I'm going to take my garbage can though, because I have a daughter that likes to play with stuff. I'm going to take like a little garbage can or something, and I'm going to put it on top of that and seal it down so that she won't be playing with this. And then I got to find something to seal this off. Even though, yeah, I'm going to get somebody to hook my ice up. But there, 
he went up the wall all the way over here and then over here. So I'm about to take a break, take a woo break. I already been eating. And then I'm about to close in these, these two rooms, y'all. I can't show y'all the other way because it is just so junky right here. But just know your girl has the open concept and we about to flow this over and get it together. So stay tuned.